we all know uh, that uh, Doug Ford has made some bad decisions, uh, especially with uh, coronavirus uh, right now. And, uh, you know, some, uh, even though uh, advised by uh, Dr. Karen Moore and uh, other uh, health, uh, medical officers of health, um, yeah, just some things that have not uh, been the uh, right decision. <laughs> that he made but there's another one uh, that people have a uh, need to also recall and this has to do with a uh, highway 413 so so some people have higher heard of a uh, highway 413 uh, so uh, this was uh, like a highway project uh, not specified as a regular highway or a toll uh, highway yeah uh, but uh, So where the location of this Harry Four Thirteen is, uh, it starts uh, near uh, Vaughn and uh, King City. So let's pull it up. So this is uh, Highway Four Hundred right here. So the highway proposed highway starts right between uh, Vaughn and King City right here. Starts from Four Highway Four Hundred. Crosses through Schomburg, go meets the uh, highway 27, keeps going. So, there, there were planning to extend the highway 427 to meet there past the. Yeah. Keep going, go through Brampton, meet highway 10 and uh, highway uh, 4, 410. Keep going, Georgetown. And then eventually meet the intersection right here where Harvey 401 and the 407 ETR told the Toll Highway meet in uh, Halton Hills. Now I'll tell you guys about the major problem here. So, uh, so many people uh, in this area and on uh, people in Ontario are con being con very concerned that uh, so in that area from uh, Highway Four Hundred to uh, that, that where that Highway Four Hundred One and Four Highway uh, and the Toll Highway Four Hundred Seven meet. Uh, so that area is part of the Oak Ridge Moraine and also part of the Green Belt. So that is where a lot of uh, wildlife uh, live in that section. So a lot of uh, environmental people are very concerned about that because yeah, they're it's just uh, going to increase the carbon emissions and uh, that's not going to be helping anything and uh, although it might be easier for uh, people uh, from uh, in the direction from uh, Barry going southbound uh, and they need to go uh, to the southwestern Ontario it might be an easier route for them but you know, but this is not like a, a great idea because uh, not just the disturbance of uh, uh, wildlife in that area, which which the Green Belt and Oak Ridge's Moraine is that area section is for that uh, wildlife and production of that uh, animals there, and also you know. You probably like uh, driving driving by the highway and seeing the entering the Green Belt or Oak Ridge's Moraine sign, that, and yeah, that's uh, like wildlife areas. So originally, uh, people, uh, polit premiers uh, of Ontario, prior to uh, Kathleen Wynne, uh, they were uh, Dal Dalton McGinty. Uh, he was uh, into uh, making the project for uh, Highway Four Thirteen. Not proposed uh, as a regular highway or toll, toll highway, uh, not specified yet, but uh, 
So there was been this plan about it. When Kathleen Wynne became uh, the Ontario Premier, she countered this ideal for Highway 13 and she canceled the idea saying and she was on the side of actually uh, protecting the animals and uh, not uh, and yet what Doug Ford he the since he's the new premier as soon as he, uh, he became the new premier one of his first uh, ideas was to start Highway 14. 14. So, of course, uh, yeah. That's not going to be uh, leading us in a good direction if uh, it's going to be like that. And of course, uh, there has been a lot of saying that, uh, you know, since the highway, highway 401 is like the busiest uh, highway in the North America because uh, there's from the straight from all the way from Montreal all the way to Windsor, uh, that is the only highway that uh, actually runs through. Uh, I'm straight from the east and west. And. Uh, of course, there's a lot of traffic that's going to do the uh, traffic uh, hold up and stuff. And and then they th they think, what if we make more highways? Um, and uh, maybe we'll, they'll decrease traffic. For example, Highway four, four, 403, which switching back. Highway 403 starts uh, right here at the in Mississauga, where Highway 401 meets Highway 410 Branton and. Uh, this goes, and of course, the 403 runs through Mississauga, Oakville, Burlington, and of course, uh, and as a joint uh, through uh, with the Queen Anne Elizabeth Way, and they'll keep going while Queen Elizabeth Way goes to Niagara. They keep going, Hamilton. Brantford and uh, and uh, end up meeting the highway 401 again in Woodstock so that's not 403 is like only like a highway that actually uh, goes through partially uh, the part uh, near close closer to uh, Lake Ontario uh, compared to uh, yeah entering Toronto so yeah that's a sort of a different uh, point there and then of course uh, highway 407 is a different story uh, you know so of course uh, origin original plan was uh, for a uh, highway uh, Four seven express toll route uh, and just highway four oh seven toll highway. So uh, it it was supposed to start start right here at Brock Road Pickering, and of course explain. But now the new work project uh, it starts here in uh, Kendall, Ontario, in the Durham region, stretches through. Uh, Northern uh, Bowmanville and I, uh, and uh, just the northern part of uh, Oshawa, Whitby, uh, s bypasses uh, Ajax and goes to uh, bypass the, the Pickering too, and uh, and goes to uh, Mar Markham and uh, yeah. and Richmond Hill, Vaughan. And of course, uh, meaning uh, 
also the connecting uh, toll highways uh, 418 and 412 uh, which are uh, both in uh, Durham region and then to meet uh, 404 new market that one for highway 400 very uh So, and then there's that one, and then 427, which, and 410, highway 401, and then uh, at the ending point in Burlington. So the highway 4, uh, 407 uh, is not as really a... Uh, on it extensive uh, as uh, people uh, would think uh, it is also uh, it's an uh, easy way for people from P Peterborough to go all the way to uh, to Toronto uh, without having to go through a uh, heavy traffic uh, in Durham region and uh, especially in uh, Oshawa and Whitby But uh, the traffic on, uh, on the Highway 401 and 403 at QEW, uh, Queen, Elizabeth, Queen Elizabeth Way, so, are pretty relevantly, uh, you know, easy going. And, you know, there's, uh, and if you're not one of those people uh, who uh, like to have to pay uh, money every, every time to use uh, the toll highway, uh, which you have to do it. Pay, make payments uh, on the website, uh, not uh, not like a U.S. toll highway. So it's not really a, a useful thing, and you know. And the highway four thirteen. Uh, that's the only uh, highway that actually goes through the. Uh, If actually, uh, then actually she had started, uh, you know, that will not be a good thing for us. And of course, and some just uh, some recent updates. Uh, so, so uh, the express lane and collectors uh, lane uh, for in the Mississauga that has been uh, extended, and which would probably be considered uh, e easier uh, way for uh, pe people living in Mississauga and Halton Hills, but uh, may not be a good idea. But uh, more carbon emissions. Uh, But the 413, 413, whether it's just a regular highway or maybe a toll highway, will definitely not be a good idea and uh, not a backup. Uh, because we've had enough incidents with the animal uh, being, uh, you know, Having to move to a different uh, part, part uh, to uh, live in and that in different parts of the woodland areas and Oak Ridge rain, great spot for it uh, for them to live in. But you know, if Doug Ford actually wants to screw this up, now uh, this is uh, not a good, good uh, project to uh, start. Uh, so, 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 this is one uh, major uh, pro problem that the Ford government is uh, creating, and you know, something needs to be done about that. So, go so go against the Ford government and uh, help cancel the plan for Highway 413. We don't need an another highway. Uh, we don't need more uh, traffic uh, congestion uh, by making another highway, uh, which not many people will use. Uh. And 
and instead, the you know, uh, foreign government should also uh, actually be investing in uh, more public transit and even uh, pushing on Metrolinx to actually uh, start projects uh, that they uh, proposed, uh, but they actually never uh, even started on or even finished. So more public transit, less uh, highways, uh, because it's not a healthy uh, decision in that way. So that's on the Ford government. Started by Dr. Dalton McGinty, post can canceled by uh, Kathleen Wynne, and then started off by Doug Ford. So not just the coronavirus uh, regulations uh, are uh, to uh, blame against uh, the Ford government, also Highway 413. Don't forget about that one either. Not just about the people, uh, but also the animals. We don't need another highway.